uh, to uh, uh, to help you understand their live working people you know uh, okay so i'll start now so you can see my screen here we have a data card code and discussions written i'll just show you this so uh, if you want to see what's in the data set you can go here this is our database and in these this is our this is the name of our database movies and here we have the name of the directors and the movies so you can see the rows that are there in movies this is the table movies we have around 5000 rows here and the columns that we have are around 13 columns so you can see what data is there we have id original title budget popularity yes. date revenue title vote average vote count and overview for directors we have around 2500 rows and we have five columns these are for name id gender uid and department so if you guys have a sqlite or any other thing you can download it this database and just use this download app and i'll show you how we can see that in that also one second i'll share my entire screen with you so I have also opened this uh, data that I have in SQLite. So this is the data that I've opened. So you can see I have directors and these are the columns that I have and what are the types of data that I have. These are the movies, ID, title, and what are the uh, data type of these. And at the same time, if I go in the browse data pane, I can see what all uh, tables i have and i can dive deeper into those tables like what are the names that i have id gender uid and department okay so you can also do this in your uh, like sqlite or mysql anything that you want but uh, i wanted to show you how to do it in kegel so i'll be doing it like that only okay so once again presenting my screen Yes. So before starting to code, I always encourage people to take some time and get to understand the data. What's inside that? Like, what are the columns? What are the values that you can see? Always try to go through the data before trying to query anything. So uh, here we can see that this is our data and these are the tables. <clears throat> also, there's one more thing here that uh, I wanted to show. If you just open this .txt file, it has few questions. So we'll be trying to solve some of these questions as well. And like four or five questions I've created myself for like joining both beginner and intermediate experience here. OK, so you can see these questions and you can try understanding. So if you want to start a new notebook in Kegel, you just have to click here on new notebook and it will open a new notebook for you okay as i have already made a new notebook also you can do one more thing uh, i can send you a link to my notebook one second you can open this new notebook and at the same time i'll be solving this in my notebook i have already added few things here okay so if you open your new notebook you will have a different kind of name here your notebook a xyz or anything just try changing the name first and make it very descriptive about what you are trying to solve here and this first block will be there for you as it is you don't need to do anything here if you want to add a block of code there will be an option of code and markdown click on code and you will have a new block of code. For people who are starting it for the first time, I'll just write it here. If you know the print statement, if I just do print hello, and if I just play this. Uh, Muskan would be sharing a notebook link, like you said. I asked them to create a new notebook. That's not okay. a problem. They create it with me. Fair enough. 
so if you guys can see this this block will be already there this is taking some time no problem you can actually make a code block here by clicking on this icon that has the code thing you just click on it and it will uh, make a new code block for you if you're starting for the first time i want you to know how to execute that code block you have to click on the play button that is here mine is taking some time if you are done with this you can type yes i am clear with how this is running so that is how we can start with the session if you are clear with the interface how the things are working those who have joined us late uh, shared uh, already passed a, a link on, for kegel.com so please share it uh, i do not want to disturb the instructor please uh, share the link like sangeeta just shared with everybody everybody i hope everybody is ready and i do not want to uh, you know add more people because people are still joining us and uh, mostly those people um, uh, to create uh, interruptions in between guys are you able to run that print hello wala code block if you are can you please type yes ki i am done with this like it is giving you an output of hello so that you know how to execute the queries yes okay. excellent you are hearing a lot of yeses that's great so if you are if you, if the people who joined us late are not able to do it uh, please help them on the other side while muskan will go on teaching okay? okay yeah good 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 vipul shashant loma thank you okay so this was just an example to show you how the blocks will execute so for starting with sql in this in your notebook you need to import sqlite3 this is an alias that i have given if you don't use this it's fine you want to use s you want to use mab anything anything you want to use it's fine and i have imported pandas the, these these two things will be needed for uh, reading our data set for performing the queries so import sqlite as sql this is for running sql queries in your notebook and this is for reading them if you know pandas in python this is the same thing i'm only using that pandas only i'm not using anything else okay so you need to import these two things before starting to write the queries and to get the output once you are done with this once you are done with writing this you just have to click on that play button again and it will run if it's running without any problem that means it's done okay so now i will teach you how to connect the database after i'm done with this block i'll give you a, i'll give you a few minutes if you are lagging behind so that you can catch up and if you have any doubt i'll give you one two minutes for the same so the database that i have i have made a new variable for database and what i have done here is in this input block if you are seeing this you will have this option of movies.sqlite if you just go here in the right hand side you will have the option of copying the file path so i'll just copy the file path i'll do it again for you i'll just copy the file path and i'll use single quotation marks and just paste it here nothing else i have done is the first line clear are we clear with how we are defining the database how we are defining the variable You just have to connect. I see Tawassum has a question. Why don't you, uh, uh, Tawassum, can you quickly ask that question if it is re relevant here? No, I mean Arun, yes. I meant yes. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, okay. I know. So you raise. So, <clears throat> all right. So if you, if you, either you can say yes or you can just raise a hand, I will understand that you are saying a yes if you are raising a hand. Okay okay so we are done with defining this variable now what we'll do is we'll connect this database so for connecting this we'll use dot connect we have already imported sqlite 3 as sql so i'll be using this if you have not used any alias for this if you have just written sqlite 3 
what you can do is you can just write sqlite 3 dot connect and write the name of your variable okay so use sql dot connect and connect to your database i have used the print statement after this to just show you that this statement is executed and you can write anything here your database is connected now you can start working anything that you want just wanted to let you know how the database is actually being connected and how you can start working on it you will use sql.connect to connect to your database this is the variable database that we have defined here and it has the path of your database uh Mr. one question so from where did you copy that path uh, okay so the path here is in this movies.sqlite if you go in the right hand side you have okay. this copy well option that is the path only okay thank you okay so are we done with this block are we done with databases connected now and are we done with the print statement are we able to understand yes okay uh good yeah so i think we don't have any more doubts this was the only part that you need to do and now we can start writing our queries so first query i've already written but other queries I have kept blank so that you can solve it with me. So the first query is we want to get all the get all the data about the movies. If you don't know about how to get the data, I'll teach you at the same time. So you want to retrieve few columns or all the columns that depends on your question. If you want to retrieve all the columns, you will write a strict. And if you want to retrieve few columns, you'll write name of those columns. For example, if I, if this question says, can you get all data about movies? That means we need all the columns. We need all the columns. So what we'll be using here after select is a strict. Okay. So select selects the column that you need. So we need all the columns. Select a strict means select all the columns. And then we have to specify from which table. The name of my table is movies. From movies. If you are not clear with what is the name of your table you can always open this movies.sqlite and see what tables we have we have directors and movies so if you don't write movies and you write movie instead of this it will give you an error that there's no such table as movie here so you need to remember the name of your table if you don't remember you can always go in the right hand side and see the name okay select a strict from movies it will select all the columns that it will have this is your query one. I'll teach you how this code block is working. So for writing your, you can just name it anything. I have written Q1 for the variable so that I can just easily interpret it that this is my query one. So whenever you are writing your query, you will be writing it in between three quotation marks. These are three quotation marks. I'll just zoom it for you. I'll write again. Okay, so I have three quotation marks. And in between them, I'll be writing my SQL query. Select a strict from what is your table name? Your table name is movies. Okay, this is your query one. We are, we are done with the first line. Now I'll explain you the second line. I have made a new variable R1 that represents the result of my query one. R1 is equals to PD. PD is pandas. I have already defined it here. Pandas as PD pd's <clears throat> dot read sql it will read your sql query so you have to define which query it has to read so you can see this is the query it has to read q1 and to which database you, the database already here is db pd so you have to define two things i'll explain one is the query and the other is the database okay so you can write Q1 and database. Q1 is your query and DB is your database that we have connected. Once we are done with R1, you have to just print R1. You can execute this block by playing this. It will give you answer of your particular query. So are we able to understand how we are executing this query in our notebook, how we are using a read SQL, how we are writing the query, how it's being executed, how we are printing it. I think there's a question from uh, somebody who said, uh, could you explain why are we uh, using three quotation marks? Uh, like this is the 
syntax of writing this, you need three quotation marks. If I, I'll just show you practically. If I remove it, if I remove this, so you can see this is not being highlighted in red, and it will not work. This is not the valid syntax. So that is why you need to add three quotation marks here. The the only other question was uh, why you need uh, from Kathy. One second. Yeah. Why you need pandas? We need pandas because if you have already worked with pandas, if we read CSV file, that is one of the most common thing that we do. Whenever you have a CSV file, you use pd.read CSV. In the similar way, whenever you have SQL thing, then you have to read, you have to use that read SQL thing, and that is available in pandas only. Okay. Excellent. And I'm seeing a lot of other other folks are interacting with each other and answering questions. That, that's a good sign. Gauri, thank you. Um, that was soon too. No, you don't need to always write in uppercase. The thing is, it's a good practice to, like, if you want this, you can just write movies in small case. Uh, it's a good practice if you write this entire query in small like start from this it will work there will be no pressure here there will be no nothing from my side to write it in uppercase but generally what is the good habit that you write the keywords or clauses in uppercase for example select and from you need to write an uppercase and else everything you can keep it in lowercase it's up to you okay so this is your query we are done with the first query so the second query is very similar to the first one. I have not written the answer of this so that at the same time you can do it with me. You need to click on the code block here so that you have a new code block. The query number two is how do we get all the data about directors? So I'll be providing you with hints for this query. The hint is we need all the columns. So that means we'll again be using a strict. And now the name of the table is change, nothing else. This is the hint, and this is a very good hint. Like uh, anyone can solve with this hint. So you need to get all the data from the directors. Try seeing how you have uh, done this, like done this particular first query, and then try solving the second query using this. I'll give you two more minutes for this. At exact 11, uh, I'll explain you the answer. Before that, if you have already completed the answer, you can just write Q2 done. OK? Q2 done means query 2 is done. You have to write uh, query 2, and you have to print the result. So for those who joined us late, uh, we are doing queries, and we'll be solving about 10, 15 queries using SQL on Kaggle. The Kaggle link was uh, provided to you earlier. If you joined us late, you can get uh, the Kaggle link from um, you know, somebody else in the group. I see two people have already messaged that Q2 is done. That's great. Uh, you need to print out the result too. OK? So if you are getting the result and you are like, not getting any errors and you think your answer is correct, you can just write Q2 done. One more minute, guys, and I'll be starting to solve this query with you, OK? OK, I see like most of the people are writing Q2 is done. I don't see anyone writing that they have any issue. OK, so it's 11 now. I'll start with solving the query. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do again is just make a new variable. It's up to you, whatever you want to name it. Three quotation marks. Then you need to write the query again. So the query is, how do you get all data about directors? So you need all the columns from the directors table now. We first completed the movies one. Now we needed the directors one. So we'll just write select asterisk. That means getting all the columns. From which table we need? We need from directors table. This is your query. OK? Now in R2, that is your result query. Uh, that is your output result. And we'll just write pd.reach equal. And again, 
as like q2 which query to be executed and to which database i have to connect pd dot read sql and q2 comma db similar to what we have done in the first doc and then i'll just be using print r2 okay so i'll get name of all the directors id gender uid department if you do think that this is correct answer or not you can always go and check in your tables here are we done with the second block of query? Are we done how it's working? Are we clear with this? Yes, okay. Good. So we are done with two queries now. These were like uh, in more of a basic kind of way for people who have not done SQL till now. Now coming to the third query. Third query is check how many movies are present in IMDb. So you have to check the number of movies, how many movies are present. So for counting something, you, you can use an aggregate function called count. Hence, count. OK? So I'll write it with you. I'll explain the query. I'll first, explain, uh, I'll first uh, just make a new variable, q3, for my third query. Then I'll write select count you can write name of the titles or any column that you want in sql uh, i'll just show you the project again what are the tables that i have so you can see here in movies.sqlite in movies table we have sorry in movies table we have these columns so what you can do here is you can count the original title okay and you can just count how many values are there or you can just use select count asterisk for the same i'll share this tab again so select count asterisk and from and which table i'm referring movies so this will count all the movies that are present there okay and again i'll make a new variable r3 for my result pd.read sql and I'll write Q3 and DB and print R3. So we have our count 4773. If you want to give it an alias, alias is basically giving a nickname. For example, if your name is uh, Rajesh, at home people may call you Raj. So you're giving it a small nickname. You can just write select count asterisk as I'll write number of movies as number of movies. So I'm giving it a nickname. So now you just keep your eyes on this count asterisk thing. So it will change to number of movies so that it is more uh, readable to the other person who I am giving my uh, notebook to, who is accessing my notebook. Select count asterisk as number of movies and decks. The other thing that I'm writing here is from movies. That is the name of your table. Are we clear with how this query is working? Q3 done. Uh, OK, I have two questions. I'll answer both of them. So Shubham is saying, why this not star? So this is how you write it again like it's up to you mm -hmm. if you do this always i say that if you are asking a question try solving it yourself first Ki count asterisk karke, can it work if you see it you have a syntax error again okay so this is it is giving an operational error near as syntax error you can go here and see okay we have number of movies so uh other question that was asked was ki, do we have null values what if we have can we see that so what what i think that you can do for the same is you can go in your table and check for example in movies uh there if i have opened this in my sqlite i'll again share my screen one second there you can see if you have some null values or not but I have checked the data myself. There's, uh, there are no null values here. But if you have null values, definitely your result will differ. Okay. 
can't we give the movies movie column name will include null value as uh i didn't understand your question muskan can't we give the movie column name like we have given it name right we have given it a name of number of movies so whenever we have a output whenever we have some output and that is not readable to the other person we can always give it a name some simpler name for example we have given it a name of number of movies muskan if you are asking that uh, can we change the name yes you can just give it an, any other name okay okay so muskan was asking ki we can can we alias any other column yes you can alias any other column uh, we'll try doing it keep that in mind if you are just getting a uh, like a single column for example original title you were getting you can change that change the name of original title as well okay are we done with this is q3 done I can see thumbs from thumbs up from Prem Sai all the time and Shubham Pandey. So there's some people who are doing it very fast. Even Gauri Shankar, Shiva, and Shubham. <clears throat> okay, so that null thing that you guys have doubt with, it counts each row. Count a strict will count each row separately, and this includes if we have null values in those rows. This includes rows that contain null values as well. So it will count it too. Okay. If you guys have doubt in that, okay. So we are done with query three. Now coming to query four. Query four is more of like we have a condition here. We have a simple condition here that we need to find these three directors. We need to get details of these three directors only. So whenever your boss or manager or any person is giving you a question which has a condition in it, like he gave me the name of students whose percentage is greater than ninety-five, this is the condition that we have: percentage greater than ninety-five. Or give me the name of employees that are living in uh, Pune. So this is another condition: employees that are living in Pune. So whenever you have a condition, you have to use where there. Okay. So we have these condition here. We have Three three directors, and we need to find information about them. So I'll just write a hint here. So hint here is we have a condition that we need the like values, the the rows, the columns regarding all these three directors: James, Luke, John. That means that we need information regarding these three. Okay. So I'll just. explain the query while i'm writing it so whenever we have a condition we use where okay and here we we have two ways of solving the query i'll explain both of them so we have three directors james luke john view okay so first we'll do select and i'll use asterisk again that i want all the information from which table i want this is in directors table the name of the directors is in directors table you can check it again so if this is the query that i have written it will give me information regarding all the directors i have not specified uh, anything here i have not given it any condition so this will give me the result of query 2 but i want the result for james cameron alexe if you can see the first name is james cameron i want uh, the name i want the information of these three only okay for adding the conditions i'll be using where so i'll be writing where and now i have to specify that i want the information about james luke and john view so i'll specify where name is equals to is equals to means we are comparing it you can write your uh, like one second you can write it here where names is equals to james cameron or name is equals to is equals to the other name is luke you can write it here or name is equals to is equals to 
John Woo. Okay. So I'll explain what we are doing here. We have given it a condition. Ki give me information regarding all the directors. Jinka name ya to James hai. Or the name is Luke. Or the name is John Woo. The spelling was wrong. John Woo. Okay. Now I'll first take, first give you the result and then I'll explain the query again if you have any doubt. Again, we'll write PD dot read SQL, then Q4, comma DB, and print R4. Okay, so you can see in the output we have information regarding these three people only. We have specified the condition ki in directors me jaake, in the directors table, you can open this again. In the directors table, you want name me James Cameron and we want uh, Luke and John Wu. Okay. So you have specified ki go in the directors table and wherever we have the James Cameron as the name or John Wu as the name or Luke as the name, you get information regarding those. That's it. So that is what we have done till now. And again, I have used that thing only. Just read the SQL statement that you have, connect to database, and get your uh, query. So are we clear with this, how this is working? Huh, yeah, that is what I was saying, Swapnil, ki, uh, we can use in here. I told you that we have two options. That is what I'll be telling you. Uh, Sandeep, again, a uh, question that you have. Uh, you have to read DB every time. Whenever you have any doubt, for example, I'm not there for you. Abhi, I'm teaching the session. I can always answer doubt. But if you have any doubt, whenever I'm not there for you, just try doing it without DB. You'll see the answer yourself. I have removed it. It is showing that read SQL is missing one required positional argument. Okay, so I have to write DB here. Uh, we cannot use and where name is equals to James <clears throat> Cameron and and John Wu. That is not possible because and. Matlab, if you have like studied about and in your like engineering session, so and is not the answer here. Aapko name mein, the, uh, the question that was asked by your manager was ki in team directors ka information chahiye. Ya to name James Cameron ho ya Luke Basin ho ya John Wu. So the in Hindi, if you have that thing, the name should be this or this or this. So you already understand the context of the question, right? We have or here. If we use and here, let's try what she's saying. Okay, so it's a, it's an empty data frame. You don't have any answer regarding that. So, what you saying is that name James Cameron be on chahiye, name Luke Basin be on chahiye, name John Wu be on chahiye. That is not possible. You have to specify in Pino me, in Pino me, say whatever names you have in these three like the condition that was specified your manager or the person, you have to get a name from these three only. So that is why you're using all condition here. Okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll do one other query where I'll be using and tell me, uh, remind me after the end of the session. Okay, the other question that was asked was, Ki can we use N? Yes, we can use N and that is a better alternative whenever you have multiple all conditions agar yahan pe instead of john wo we have four five more directors so i wouldn't have at least uh, i wouldn't have told you about or at all okay so whenever you have multiple all conditions it's good to use in there so for in the syntax is i'll show you what's the syntax here okay so you have to write where name n and then you have to make a bracket and then you can specify these values james cameron luke besson and john wo james cameron let me write the query i'll explain how this is working luke besson and john wo okay so we are actually saying that 
कि वेन एवर यू फाइंड द नेम इन योर मूवी स्टेबल सो इन योर डायरेक्टर स्टेबल एंड द नेम इज इन वन ऑफ दीज थ्री वैल्यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ द नेम इज वन ऑफ दीज थ्री जेम्स लूक और जॉन देन गिव मी द आंसर फॉर दिस वेन एवर यू हैव मल्टीपल ऑल कंडीशन इट्स बेटर टू यूज एन वेर नेम इन जेम्स लूक और जॉन That means that if the value of name falls in James, Luke, or John, give me that rows only. Give me the values for that only. Okay? You can use or condition here too. No problem. Are we clear with this? How this is working? Q four. Um, Mustan, uh, on John's name, that J. Can you make it small case and try running that query? Uh, okay. This is case sensitive. If that's what you are asking, if uh, you are making it small, then it will not give you the answer because in the table, if the name is in capital only, you will get the answer when you will write in your query capital name. Okay. Uh, under in clause, it uh, you know case sensitive will be taken into care, right? But in yeah. or statement doesn't. Okay. If If you want to try it with or too, you can try it with or, and tell me what you get as the answer. Can you use that with uh, like case sensitivity? Hata ke you try it and tell me. Okay, so we are done with Q four. Okay, now I'll be solving Q five with you. We are running a little late, so let's do it a little faster. So I think Q four is clear. Can we use info numeric values too? Yes, you can use them. Uh, okay got it so let's go ahead find all the directors with name starting with steven okay whenever you have a pattern whenever a person is telling you ki give me name of all the employees uh, whose name start with a or give me name of all the employees whose name end with a whenever you have a thing like a pattern like somebody is giving you a pattern ki find something related to that then you will be using like remember that so i'll teach you how to use this I'll write Q five. I'll first write the query again, then I'll teach you how we are doing it. So I'm using select star from directors. Now again, we have a condition here. The so pattern should be that the name should be starting with Steven. So I'll write where for the condition, and I'll do where name like name is this name is. what the name of the column is name should be starting with steven so like we'll be using for finding the pattern okay where name like and then I, this thing that i need to explain is this one i'll first write the name that i want i want steven steven and then i'll use a modulo sign so there is one thing as modulo so modulo is basically It can mean that after Stephen, if you are writing uh, Stephen Modulo, that means that after Stephen, it can be anything. It can be zero characters. It can be twenty characters. It can be one character. Anything. Modulo basically translates to I don't care. I don't care what comes behind me. I don't care about it. There can be one thing. There can be two characters here. There can be fifteen characters here. I don't care. So. I'll explain you with a Hindi example. If I've written a modulo, that means that what what will come here is Ashish can come here, Asha can come here, even A can come because I don't care if anything is behind it or not. Modulo is telling you I don't care. Ashish is a valid thing, Asha is a valid thing, A is a valid thing, A B is a valid thing. Okay. so if you are writing modulo after anything that means you can have zero on many characters okay so now i'll just run the statement for you i'll explain the result r5 is equal to pd dot read equal to 5 and uh baby print r5 okay so we are getting steven and we are getting all the values here steven uh, with steven brill quail seagull we don't care what's behind it we just want the name should start with steven that's it 
I'll suggest you a link for this if you have never studied like and how it's working. I'll give you a link. You can just save it, and after the session is completed, you can refer to this. So this is W3 like. Yes. Uh, I'm suggesting one more link here. That is for wildcards. So modulo is a wildcard character that you need to remember. Modulo and underscore works like that. Being a little short of time, I'm sorry that I cannot explain it in very depth, but I'll try my best. If you have any doubts, I'll answer it. Please, but please save this link, OK? Are we done? Is Q5 done? Yes. Good. OK. So coming to Q6. OK, now the question is count all the female directors. So I'll show you what is there in my directors table. Again, you can open your table and see. So in your directors table, you have gender and you have the values as 0, 1, and 2, I guess. So uh, if you want to see what distinct values you have, you can always use a query for that. I'll use a query. Yeah. So for counting distinct values, you can use just write it Q, QA. I'll write the name as QA. Okay. So I'll uh, select distinct values here. I'll explain you how this query is working. First, let me write it. Select distinct. And you can use gender from directors. And you can read QA and print R. OK, so distinct will get all the distinct values that are present in your column. For example, in gender column, there were three values present, 0, 1, and 2. OK, so we'll get all the distinct values here. OK. So if you go to the table again, and you see the table again, so if you try interpreting it, then 2 represents male, 0 represents not defined, like somebody has not defined that if they're male or female, and 1 represents female. So we have 2, 1, and 0 here. And if you want to get all the distinct values from the gender, then you can use distinct here distinct keyword select distinct gender from directors and it will give you all the distinct values of it that are present if i just remove this distinct and i just use select the gender then you can see we have repeated values okay two 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 zero zero two 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 so it's good to use this thing so that we can separate what things we have okay okay done we didn't we just needed it for this query that we will be solving now so we have to count the female directors. I'll give you a small hint for this. Let's try solving it ourselves. Key, key the name of the directors should be this. The name of the director, sorry, the gender of the director should be uh, like female. So for female, we have the condition that gender should be one. And we have to count. So I'll use, give you a hint. The hint is. You have to use count and where condition. OK, so I'll give you uh, two more minutes. At 11.26, I'll explain you how this query will work. If you are done with Q6, you can just write Q6 done. OK, that's great that I'm seeing a lot of people saying that they are done with the query 6.
now i'll write the query select count asterisk from directors and we have to specify the condition that the gender should be what should be the gender gender should be one one gender is equals to is equals to one then again you can just write r6 and print this again okay so you can just write select count asterisk as you can always give it an alias number of female okay are we done q6 done clear good so i hope there's no doubt here for q6 okay coming to the seventh query now that we have we have to find the name of the 10th first woman director so first i'll explain the question uh so the 10th first woman director is like if we just arrange all the women directors in our table we have to find the name of the woman who is coming at the 10th position and we are assuming that id of the directors that we have if you go in the directors table again you have a column of id there we are assuming that id of directors is growing in ascending order for example if in school you are studying the role number of uh, abhishek is one then the role number of bhavna is two and that is how it's like going in ascending order one two three four five six so we are assuming for this question that the id of the directors is growing in ascending order okay this can be a little tricky. I'll first write the query with you guys. So what do we need? We need the name of the director. So we'll write select name from directors. Ikna, I think you, you are able to understand what we have done till now. Select name from directors. Now we have to specify conditions. Conditions here is the director should be a woman so the condition here will be where gender is equals to is equals to one this is your condition okay now if we get this we'll get name of all the directors that are there i'll run it for you first this is not the answer i'm telling you i'm just running it for you r7 Seven. Let's see. We'll get name of all the female directors that we have. Okay. Now we want the name of the tenth director. So we'll be using two things here. We'll be using limit and uh, offset. So first we'll be ordering the IDs of that director. So for ordering anything, for ordering uh, like your marks or ordering anything, salary or anything, you have to use order by clause. So we'll write order by ID. Order by ID will do what? It will order the result that you have by ID. Let's do one thing. Let's run it again. So now you can see it has, you can do one thing. Select ID comma name from directors where gender is equals to is equals to one and order by it. now you can see that the id is in ascending order 4801 4805 4853 4972 it is growing in ascending order on this now i want to like get the name of the 10th person like the person who is coming at the 10th position is in this table so i'll be using limit here so what i'll do here is i'll using uh, i'll first do limit Okay, I'll use limit one. Limit one will like just give me one one particular name as an answer. Again, this is not the correct answer. I'm showing you again this. If I just do limit one, just remember this name, Danda. If I do this, so I'll just get one name. So we have got the name of the first women director here. Okay, first women director, but we want the name of the 10th women director then we'll be using offset offset means that 
start from the 10th position only. So if I do offset 10, it will give me a name of the director that is Karen and her ID is 5174. Again, I'll explain you one by one. I hope that where gender is equals to, equals to one, we are clear with this. Here we are clear. I'll explain again. We are using order by ID so that we can order the results that we have. For example, we have a lot of students in the class and they are not arranged in roll number. We want to arrange them in roll number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, till 100. So we are ordering them by their roll number. And then I have used limit one. Limit one will do one thing that it will just give you one thing and one one particular row as an answer. For example, if you want to limit something, let's limit here. Uh, okay. So we have done select a strict from directors. Let's limit here. Let's limit it to five. If I do five, so then you will see only these five things will be here. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So it will limit your result to whatever number you have specified. Okay, you can use limit in other queries as well. It's up to you. So I've used limit one to specify that I only want I only want one result. And offset ten. Offset is a thing I think not most of the people know. I'll share a link with offset for offset too. Offset is basically saying that starts from the tenth row only. Okay. I'll share the link for offset. I know this can be a little confusing, but are we clear with how Q7 is working? Uh, so, Muskan, on, on limit, whatever number you know mentioning, it means that that many record you wanted to see from that query. Is it correct? Uh, I'm sorry, Meko, so much. Can you repeat it? Okay, so in limit you mentioned two, right? It means that um, whatever results the query is going to fetch, only three records will be displayed in the result, right? If you have written limit three, then it will uh, give you three records. If you limit written limit fifty, it will give you fifty records. Okay. 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 Uh, have, zero. Okay. Yeah, I have sent a link to you guys for offset. Please read about it. I know this class will not be enough to cover most all the concepts that are in SQL, so that is why I have sent you a link for that. Please try reading it. Okay. So we are done with Q7 now. Going ahead with Q8. What are the three most popular movies? So for popularity, if we go again in our table, uh, movies. Okay. So for popularity, we have a score. We have a score, or uh, and we have to find the three most popular movies. So this is an easy one. Can you guys do this yourself? I'll give you a hint. You have to order by popularity. I'll give you two two minutes, one minute only. I think this is a simple query. Uh, till eleven thirty-five. Just if you are done with Q eight, write Q eight done. Muskan, uh, do you need a small break to catch up, or uh, no, are fine. you? Yeah, I want to make sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. I'm doing fine. I hope that students are able to understand. I only wish that people uh, join on time for such sessions because that that way they are able to follow from the right from the start. Um, Wow, Shwain, looks like you are number one. You've solved it uh, already. Okay. So uh, I think I think people are having problem with QA. 
shall i wait for one more minute or shall i solve are you guys solving if you are solving just type w i'll wait for you if you are not able to solve i'll start doing it okay so we one person is solving now Yes, Shovin, that's the correct thing that you have done. Okay. So Shovin has given you the hint. He has given you like almost the entire answer. So I'll explain. I want the most popular movies. I can write select a strict from movies. And I have to specify the condition here. So I'll specify the condition where what I want to do. What I want to do here, sorry, I don't need to use where here. So select a strict from movies, and then I have to get the three most popular movies. So I'll be ordering the movie by popularity. Like for example, a student, a teacher has told you to give you the marks of the student who have secured the highest marks in the class. Five students who have secured the highest marks. So highest marks will be 100 out of 99 100 out of 98 sorry 99 out of 100 98 out of 100 97 out of 100 like more the value of the marks is more are the chances of it being the most highest marks in the class okay so select a strict from movies and then we'll order it by popularity now we want to order it in descending order if you want to order it in descending order you will use bsc order by popularity dis descending so if i just run this you will get these names you'll get around uh, 4772 that uh, that is that means we'll get all the rows and we are just sorting it by the popularity you can see if you want to just see the popularity column you can see 875 724 514 it is going like in descending order now i just want three movies so i'll just limit the result to three And now I'll have this. This is the movie, Min Minions, Interstellar, and Deadpool. You can even use select original title so that you just get the name of those movies only, nothing else. OK, so these are your three most popular movies in descending order. Minions was the most popular. Second most popular was Interstellar, and then Deadpool. Are we clear with Q8, how this is working? yes okay this was a simpler one i think we don't have any doubts here okay good what are the three most bankable movies bankable movies means ki kin ka revenue sabse zyada tha like three most three highest revenue movies this is similar to this one i want you to give me the answer for q9 in two minutes now 11 45 i'll give you the answer You have to use revenue here instead of popularity, nothing else. Done, done. Yes, it is very similar to the last one. I don't think so. Okay, the other time lega. Only thing that you need to change is you have to just write revenue here. That's it. Avatar, Titanic, and the Avenger. you can order by uh, one second sorry you have to order by budget here 
you have to find out three most bankable movies that means the movies that have had the highest budget here we have to order by budget here sorry the answer will be pirates of the caribbean pirates of the caribbean again and adventure so sorry there was little confusion from my end so bankable it means the movies that have like certain to like being a great hit being a being a successful movie so for example in hindi cinema you can say brahmastra was a very bankable movie because it had a lot of budget in that okay so you had to order by budget are we getting the same answer people are we done i'll change this question for you so that it is name the three movies with highest work this is an easier question for you so that we can understand what we need to do okay so we are done with ninth query okay so now the query 10th is what is the most awarded average vote since the january 1st 2000 okay so now things that you need to keep in mind is average that means you will be finding average average vote if we have the column let's see if we have the vote average column here we'll go again in movies table i'll share the tab again go again here okay we have the vote average here so we have we need the vote average column okay and we need to specify that the date should be after 1st january 2000 okay can we solve it this is similar nothing different i need what is the most awarded average vote so that means the column that i need is vote average i have a condition that uh, the release date should be after 1st january 2000 this is my first condition okay can we solve it a little tricky question nothing difficult here okay i'll solve for you guys here. we are running a little uh, late so we need select vote average vote average from movies from movies now i have to specify that release date if you want to see this column in your table you can see that the format of the release date column is year month date so i'll just specify like that only where release date is greater than 2000 Zero one zero one. That means whatever movies are released after this date, give me the vote average for that movies. Now I have to order this because I have to find the most awarded average vote. So I'll order it by vote average only. And I just need one answer. मतलब I need only one result. So I'll just limit it to one. okay so there is one small thing that i'll change i have just written it like this but this is not the correct answer i'll tell you what's the issue here muskan you can't see your screen uh, yeah okay sorry can you see it now yes yeah so whatever i have written i actually talked about it i'll explain it again no problem so i'll first just run this so you can see what average is 0.00 the thing that i have done here is i have not ordered it in descending order okay so i'll order it in descending order so what average is 9.5 if you want name also you can just write select original title comma what average for movies where release date is greater than this matlab release date was after 1st january 2000 we are ordering it by what average descending that means the highest value should be there and limiting it to one result only so we have sardar ji um some a movie named sardar ji and the vote average was 9.5 here 
Are we clear with how this is working? So also before leaving, I'll do one thing for you. I'll give you, uh, I'm not leaving right now. I'll solve two, three questions more. But uh, there are three questions that I want you guys to solve it on your own. OK, I'll just write it in the chat section so that after the class, you can solve it on your own. There are total 15 questions, and I'll be solving 12 questions for you. OK? So hey, Ms. Khan, no do, you have, do you have a hard stop uh, you to go somewhere? Uh, I'll be done till 11. I'll be done till 11.55 if we have doubts till 12. Yeah, yeah no, it's not about SQL. I'm, I'm sure like uh, um, people will have generic questions about, about you as a person, what you do, think, things like that. So some basic uh, general things. Like if, if there's a beginner in SQL and they want to get started, learn SQL, what are, what are some of the things that you did or what do you advise others, so things like that? Okay, so uh, after query 12, uh, I have time. You can ask me questions after that. Yeah, sure, uh, sure. Because you should give them some homework to do. We don't have to solve everything for them. Uh, this has been a great session for, for people that, uh, <clears throat> that are joining us for the first time. Guys, can you just note down these questions for 13, 14, and 15? This is your homework. Like you can solve it on your own. Okay. So I'll go ahead with query 11 and query 12. I'll I'll try explaining query 11 first. So query 11 is uh okay. Yep. So query 11 is which movies were directed by Branda Chapman? So if you see again in your table. Then you have in movies table, you have ID, title, budget, popularity, release date, revenue, title, vote, average, vote count, and overview. Okay. So you don't have the name of the director in that table. The name of the director is in which table? The name of the director is in a director's table. So we need data from two tables. One is your director's table and one is your movies table. You need data from both of these tables. So you will be joining these tables, OK? So what you will be doing is joining these tables. For joining a table, uh, be with me for a minute, because this is a little difficult concept, OK? I'm leaving a space here. I'm not writing here anything. Select, I'm leaving some space here, whatever we need to write here from join on these things we need to fill first okay so we'll be selecting the columns i'll be writing it in the end okay from which table i need to select these columns i need to select these columns from movies table okay from which table i need to select first from movies and i'll be joining this on directors let me first write this I know that will be a little difficult. From movies, I'm giving it an alias as M. So the table, I'm giving it an alias M. And I'm joining on which table? I'm joining it on directors. Join directors as D. OK. And I'll be using what is the on represent what's the common column between these two these two tables so if you see here in movies we have the column of director id if you want to see in movies you have the column of director id if you want to see all the rows you can click on it so in movies we have the option of director id and uh, i'll share my tab with you yeah so in movies, you have this column of director ID. And in directors, we already have a column of ID. OK, so we have these two columns, which are our common columns. 
which will help us to form a relationship between these two tables. So what we are doing is, for example, if you are studying in school uh, and you are going to library and you are getting some book on your name. So what a librarian do, does is she asks you what is your role number. So she'll write the role number there, okay, that this role number has taken this book from me. So that she only has the value of the role number. But your class teacher will, in the attendance register, will have the value of role number as well as name. So we are using both of the tables, both of the data that we have to get what we need. Okay. So the common column here is director ID in movies. And in directors, we have the column ID. These two are the same column. Okay. So I'll just write it here. Uh, on, I'll write movies. I'll write M dot director ID. What does M dot director ID means? M dot director ID means ki in movies table. We have given the movies table and alias as M. So M means movies. In movies, we have the column director ID. That should be equal to in directors, we have the column of ID. Okay. From movies as M, this is just from movies as M means giving the alias M and join on directors as D. And we have to after on specify the common column on M dot director ID is equals to D dot ID. Okay. Now I have to select what I need. What I need. I need the title of the movie. So I'll just write select M dot original title. And why I'm writing M because I'm specifying that the original title column is present in movies table. That is my M table. Okay. So first I'll run this. This is not the complete command. I'll run this and I'll show you what will be the answer. Period 3, 3, equal to 11 and R11. Okay. So you can see we have these titles now. But I want only the name of the director, only the name of the movie that was directed by Branda Chapman. So I have a condition here. So I'll write my condition after I have joined the table. So I'll just write where name I'll just write is equals to is equals to Branda Chapman. Okay. Now I'll get this. So the title is Brave. Okay. So you need to understand that in the movies table and in the director's table, we had different data but we wanted to see which movies were directed by branda chapman and we cannot in the director's table we have the name of the director if you just want to see a director what is the name of the director we can see it in the director's table but we didn't have the name of the movie in the director table we didn't have that column so we had to join two tables here that was we are joining two tables movies and directors and after you are joining it you have to specify on what basis you are joining it so we are specifying that m dot director id is equals to d dot id that means in the table movies whatever values what the column director id corresponds to the uh, id column in the director's table where name is equals to branda chapman is basically a condition you can if you have another name, you can write another name. You can write John Wu or anything if you want to try. It's up to you. Okay. So we are getting the original title as Brave. Are we clear with how this is working? I'll again send a link for you so that you can understand how joint. One second. If you have any doubt, I'll see it. One second. Yeah, so I have sent a very, very basic link for you to understand how joins are working. Okay, are we clear with how this query 11 is working? Okay, okay, great. Please save this link so that you can use this after we are done with the class. Okay, now coming to query 12, that is your last question. I've already written the answer for this. 
which director is the most bankable that means which director is like most bankable is in the sense ki which director will have the movies that are earning a lot okay so i want you guys to try doing it so the bankable thing was ki the movies that are earning a lot okay i'll just change this if you want uh, if you are not able to understand this query which director is the most bankable that means which director has the record of having movies with highest revenues okay so we'll try doing this i have already written the answer i'll explain it to you i will encourage if you can if you guys can solve it on your own and you don't need my help tell me guys if you are able to solve it on your own a little tricky question but if you understand joins and if you understand what all things we are needing then it will be easier for you to get just break the question into uh parts before solving it okay and one minute guys and then i'll solve it i am writing the answers of these queries as well i'll save the notebook so that after you are done with uh, your homework you can check if your answer is correct by going on the website again okay Okay. Uh, anyone able to solve? Okay. So the question was, I'll again show you the question. Mm -hmm. You need to find which director is the most bankable. That means which director has the record of having movies with the highest revenue. Like, just the person has. If you have spent ten, if you have spent one crore on the movie and the movie is earning like five hundred crores, that means it's a very bankable movie. Okay. So I'll just write the query here, and I hope that you understand how it's working. One second. Mm. Sorry. Mm. So first thing, what you can do is you can write select from and everything that you that you have that you already know how to write select from and on because we have already uh, tried solving it. Select from on. You can do that. उसके बाद आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट मे बी यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट द कंडीशन आई एल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू Okay, shall I share my screen now? Can I tell you what's the answer of this? Yes. Okay. I'll again share my tab with you. Yep. So this is the answer. I'll explain why I'm telling you this is the answer. So what I need, I need which director is the most bankable. So that is clear that we want name from the directors. 
and I can write again. You can give it an alias. It's up to you. Select name from directors. <clears throat> Join movies on directors. Dot id is equals to movies. Dot director id. These two lines. I think that should be clear. I think you should not have any doubt in these two lines. Are we have? Uh, are we having any doubt in these two lines? First two lines of query twelve. Yes or no, please. All out. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, I am telling you that you have to group by director ID. What does this mean? For example, you have a uh, company records of a lot of sales in different in different cities. So if you are grouping by different cities, that means that will group your answer to that particular value. If it, this means if you are grouping by director ID, it will group the result by director ID. I'll show you how this works. I'll remove this limit first so that you can understand. OK. So you can see we have Steven Spielberg, M Michael Bay. Here, the actually, the one person that we have is like making one movie only if we have a movie made by diff made by same director for example five movies made by same director okay then we can just uh see the th same thing like we can use group by here and see it let's see if steven spellberg has made any more movies i'll show you that also so i am grouping by director id what does group by means it means group by a particular thing you can group for example, if you have a table of sales, you can group by a particular region so that you can see in which region you have highest sales, in which region you have lowest sales. Then I am ordering by some budget so that we can see key which like which movie had the highest budget, and I am sorting it in descending order. Then in the end, I am using limit one so that I can just limit my result to one thing. So okay. the answer Steven Spielberg. So I told you that. Uh, if you wanted to see if Steven Spielberg has created more movies, I can just write QA again. You can even go on the table and see if you want, if you don't want to do anything like that. Steven Spielberg. I see that Steven Spielberg has created one movie here only because you can see in the result. Yeah, so I have searched here that he has created one movie only. Okay, but if you have directors, for example, Steven Spielberg has created more than five movies, then you can see the value here and you can see which movies he has created. Okay, are we done with this? How this query is working? I know this will be a little difficult for you to understand, especially the last one, because it uses everything that we have learned till now. If you understand joints, it will be easier to understand. I'll send you a link for group by two. If you're able to understand at least 60, 70% of the session, can you please type yes? Yes, I understand because it's not a we are not able to understand joints in 15 minutes. I know that, but I wanted to show you. Okay. Okay. So we are done with query 12, 13, 14, 15 is your homework. Uh, again, once you have read joints, then you if you again come to this query 12, you will be able to understand. So guys, we're almost uh, we done. Uh, please uh, uh, do your homework. The teacher <laughs> uh, will will uh, check your homework. It's amazing. So uh, I I've, I've just for fun those who uh, those who loved Muskan session as much as I did. Please uh, uh, don't just don't don't just send uh, the thing. I want you to unmute yourself and shout woohoo. Come on, guys. I know you can do better than just a symbol. Yeah. Uh, okay. Woohoo! 
मैं इतना मरी भी आवाज में ऐसा कैसे होगा आवाज निकालो you know btec and and uh, um, of course she she works at a beautiful place when she was learning how did uh, how did how did you go about learning muskan or or more importantly what 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 advice do you have for beginners or people who are just starting and what advice would you have for intermediate people how do how do they become better at a skill yeah. uh, okay uh, definitely i'll start with that only so most of the people i assume here will be like bigger than me in age i am like i am fresh out of college i'm like worked only for 9 10 months here but no uh, it's a beach mein aap kuch aapke jaise hain kuch kuch bilkul hi uh, 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 aur kuch second year mein bhi hain ho sakte hain so they are all kind of people yeah i understand and uh, the thing that i encourage is like whenever you are trying something for example you have studied one course uh make it a consistent habit of practicing what you have learned for example if you bought a course for 500 rupees and you are like bored in between don't leave it just go through it be a little consistent with it try doing it for 45 minutes a day complete the course once you are done with that practice always practice if you are not sure of like how to go ahead with unguided projects there are plenty of guided projects on youtube plenty of guided projects on coursera you can go with that once you are comfortable with guided projects how we should work with guided projects what are the questions always try solving the other like other projects using your knowledge only you have to take one step at a time first you have to learn then you have to practice always practice before starting project i'll encourage if you guys can practice on hacker rank that is like the basic point of starting for sql if somebody has started sql then you guys can go and uh, we have beautiful data sets on kaggle you can download the data set you can even do the analysis on your local machine and to anything on sqlite browser anything that is up to you and You, once you are done with the guided projects go ahead with the unguided one and make it a habit of just keeping keeping the thing that you have learned in use and always try upskilling yourself because i've seen a lot of people those who know sql but when they are assigned some task in workplace they are unable to solve those questions because they have like started till a uh, beginner intermediate level but generally when you go out in workplace the queries will not be that select these columns from the data that will not be the query the query will be something that is above that so that will only come to you if you keep on practicing uh thank you muskan uh ek aur sawal uh, you know people typically have this question ki um uh, you know i'm coming up with an inter- interview next week um and i i have done you know basic basic a little bit intermediate sql uh how do i prepare for interviews that are coming up uh, uh from x y or z organization the first thing is like uh if interview is coming up for for example any company for example microsoft you are giving the interview the there will be like hundred of link that will give you the questions most asked interview questions in microsoft most asked interview questions in this and that i tried that i got a lot of similar questions somewhat different i will not say ki every link that you will get all the questions will that only that person will ask because every time the person who is changing the uh, who is asking the questions who is the interviewer change so you need to get through them so that you understand what's the level of the question for example if the questions are intermediate level if they are hard level and whenever you have a chance for example the session the interview is in like 15 20 days always uh, make it a habit of practicing the things that you have done like practicing uh, whatever you have done revising it always go through the projects that you have made because that is one of the most important thing that will be asked as a 
person in data, they'll, they'll definitely ask you on what project you have worked on and how that is working. So you need to go ahead with the proper introduction, what you have used, what functions you have used, what problem you are solving. And uh, if if you want any, like you can always go through that cheat sheets if you are not in habit of solving those questions. For example, you are giving an interview for SQL developer and you have not practiced SQL since like three, four months. Then there can be a chance that you are forgetting most of the common queries as well. So you can always go through the cheat sheets so that you can revise them. And once you are comfortable with that, uh, always just go ahead with how the projects of yours are working because most of the questions will be like gathered around that only your experience and your projects that was that was a you know, complete answer is there so I, I think another uh, muska another question coming up from shavain is uh, knowledge of windows functions is necessary for freshers windows function like they can not say that it's very necessary topic but definitely if you want uh, you can learn about it the most things that are asked in SQL interviews will somehow be related to joins. For example, even if you are giving an online assessment, they'll ask you something related to joins uh, because joins is somehow considered a, as a very scary topic for people who are just getting into the industry. And uh, at the same time, in SQL developer question, in SQL developer profile only, you will get some questions related to DBMS as well. So you need to be clear with basic concepts of DBMS. You cannot skip those concepts. What's going on? Just as you have another question is just you have learned college me sikha ya jo college ke baad jitni jitni bhi chahe self sikha chahe kahin se kahin se padha. How different did did you find the actual job? when you joined XYZ organization. What changes you think about changes that beginners should think about it a little bit about it? They should know about it. Okay, so... Uh, is, is, there anything, is there anything they can do better to better prepare for the real work environment? For real work environment, uh, I, I'll just prefer that some, some very beautiful youtubers are there that will give you like the projects i'm telling you the projects will be related to that data only for example the data that we used in this project had 5000 rows so whenever you will go to some real world data you will have millions of rows you will have to answer the questions yourself uh, i was uh, going through a course myself and i got one question there was just one question in the course ki the some kind of money is missing can you just figure out from seeing the data who has stolen the money so that is like one line that your manager has told you to do and you have to see what all things you need to do nobody's telling you okay, give me that column give me that column go through this query nobody will tell you that you will just be given a statement that you have to solve so that comes only after you are done with projects that comes only after you are very very well acquainted with your data how this data is working so this is something that i find that most of the pressures don't understand they don't understand what the company is trying to ask from what insights you need to get from the data uh shweta i think your question uh, regarding which websites are good for practice i think uh, sandeep has already answered it Tawassum, please go ahead and ask your question directly. I'll never suggest to skip anything. Like, I'll not say like, skip this because uh, in the end, it's up to the interviewer. The person can ask you anything. Uh, if you just ask me, Muskan said, ki, with nahi puchenge, that will not work because Muskan cannot like make sure of anything. Uh, when, I, when I had my interview of Microsoft, you will not believe the interview went for 2.5 hours. And uh, if somebody is from a DSA background, somebody knows about DSA, I was asked about everything, like starting from arrays to graphs, everything. So I'll never suggest anyone to skip any topic. You should have basic understanding of everything. So Muskan, you have to say that you have to say that बहुतों को डर लगता है कि ई अरे बाबा ई वाई है पी वो पी डब्ल्यू सी है या फलाना है डिमकान माइक्रोसॉफ्ट है गूगल है हल्का साहब को व्हेन यू आर गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू 
आपको डर नहीं लगा कि अरे बाबा इतने बड़े नाम पे अभी मैं कॉलेज से अभी भी तो बाहर आई हूँ कैसे जाऊंगी so mm-hmm. i am like the first person in my college to secure a placement in microsoft like my college is running from 15 to 20 years so nobody i saw the to... wonderful i saw the wonderful video that you posted on your linkedin which i will recommend uh, other yeah. people to see you yeah. know so when i got the interview link there were three rounds that were going to be there so the first round uh, went for like 2 to 2.5 hours there was a female a person who asked me about everything she started with my uh, like career line what i did in college then she started with technical questions and if somebody is doing lead code i'll tell you lead code medium questions were asked for me so she started with everything and uh, i was not at all motivated after and i was like uh, nobody has gone into microsoft i am not special i went and i was having lunch my phone was on silent and my phone was continuously ringing he come for the final round come for the final round come for the final round <laughs> somebody uh, like from my like placement team called me ki why are you not coming for the final round i've sent you the interview so they asked me to skip the second round i gave only the first round and they asked me to come directly to the third round and to my surprise the third round was with a very like person at a very high grade and he asked me about some system design question that i've never studied about but uh, i told them that i'm little nervous i'm not said system design google does the same they they ask system design question to yeah. Yeah. yeah so i answered few i to best of my knowledge i answered that and uh, i was like damn sure about it ki i'm not getting into microsoft for two three days i was like very chill so when i got my offer letter nobody knew there was nothing like he you are selected there was just an offer letter that came in my mail ki i am selected and uh, to my like i definitely say kasam se my reaction was like if you have watched that rodies meme <laughs> mera switch hai mera switch no gaya that was my reaction because i was not able to believe ki yes i am getting into microsoft so i, I like how you compared to rodies <laughs> yeah. so i come i called my placement assistant director that i got the offer letter and i i called him and i said ki can you confirm ki mera ye they have not <laughs> given it galat galti se so that was my reaction so <laughs> i cannot at all like uh, digest up tak ki i got into microsoft uh, they matlab bahut sundar plan hai yeah, yeah but aise hi hota i mean most of uh, you know uh, i have i have sat down in uh, you know google panel and stuff like that and uh, you know we we don't want to let the candidate know till the very end that because we are not sometimes we are not allowed to and sometimes we just you know, let it be a mystery um all right uh, so so another question is uh, can you list the certification or projects that that we can do as beginners and uh, yeah oh, so uh, i said already uh, wow, actually few are Muskan, there but, but, but frankly telling you muskan i love the way you talk. i'm i'm probably um seeing you teach the first time and there are very few people who have this uh, i mean they, they they might be a, they might be a good you know sql guy or power bi or project manager or whatever but very few people have the art of teaching the patience of teaching and uh, the patience of teaching the you know making somebody learn in two three different ways allowing people to do mistakes teaching is a very unique art and it's not easy to be a good teacher and from what i saw today i can honestly say um that that i i really admired uh, you know the, the way you presented information and uh, you know took people online to to do it live awesome this is awesome muskan thank you so much thank you so much and uh, i i i know that i'll uh, i need to have a separate conversation with you about other topics i have planned it for tomorrow i'll i'll uh, definitely get in touch with you tomorrow so yeah, guys uh, uh, again uh, ask any muskan probably has time to take maybe one more question ask that question please or i mean she has given the link to her uh, profile please be gentle don't do, do not like crowd her profile uh please give her time to answer any questions that you may have 
uh, usually people do a lot of uh, IMing. Uh, but please understand that just like everybody else, Muskan also has a full-time job, her own life. Uh, so so um, it's good if you write in a group so that others can learn. Maybe, you know, it's a common question that um, that everybody will benefit from. But before Muskan leaves, I would please unmute yourself. I'd like to join. Um, please join me in applauding for Muskan with loud claps. So that she can hear it, and if you want, you can say "woohoo!" My God, you guys are too gentle. You guys are like showing symbols on the screen. I would be shouting in my class if my my instructor said "say woohoo." Don't clap. All right, fine, fine. Yeah, I can see the clap. I was hoping for sounds. I'm not hearing any sounds. I, I wonder why Premasai, Jatin, uh, and uh, uh, Badmash people like Ankita, uh, and they're silent today. Paisan Ahmed. OK, all right. I, I can see the class. Jatin, Ankita, yeah, all right. All right, good, good, good. Uh, Muskan, thank you so much for being here. I am totally. Um, I'm so happy seeing you today, knowing you today. And um, I'm sure the students enjoyed it as well. And uh, that is very evident in their so many claps. Guys, please um, provide your feedback in the group because there are a lot of people, they may not be able to see what we did today, but I think this was a wonderful session. So please, please, please provide your feedback. Maybe in the future, we can have such sessions from many other people. And you saw yesterday's session was cool too. Next week, we're going to have a session on data engineers, uh, which probably will be led by Ankit and uh, there's a guy called Vikram. So we'll have a session on data engineers and data scientists and so on and so forth. We will have, we potentially will have sessions on finance, like investing for beginners. So I'm, we'll bring all kind of technology or... Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I was I was saying something and uh, uh, you made me laugh. Beta, mama, bolegi, beta, as they were going on. That was funny. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. We'll bring you many more technology and business sessions and all those sessions uh, uh, um, in in future as well, and they'll all be free. Shavayan um, apne mamma ko bolna jab hum log humare group pe jab so log bahut khush aate hain when somebody has a great session super se bhi upar then we say woohoo alrighty guys thank you so much I'm disconnecting now uh, thank you Muskan thank you so much yeah. thank you so much bye bye, bye, -bye. everyone